today's video, we will be practicing our perspective. Perspective is one of our main foundational skills every artist needs to know, so keep watching. The first step you need to do for this exercise is to select a photo or simply observe your surroundings. I suggest a street view, railroad, or alleyway to best demonstrate what we're learning today. For this video, I chose a photo from unsplash.com, which is a great platform for artists to use for high definition, free to use photos when you need a reference photo or you're creating a mood board. Once I found a photo I liked, I then uploaded it to Procreate, added a new top layer to draw on, and then lowered the opacity to a photo layer to make it easier to see my lines when sketching. If you don't have Procreate or any other drawing program, you can simply do this the same steps, but with a ruler and a piece of paper. It's that easy. Now, I picked this photo because it shows a lot of foreshortening, which is basically means that the further an object is, the smaller it appears. This has to do with the vanishing point and the position of your horizon line. You can have multiple vanishing points in a drawing, but with this photo, you can clearly see it where the buildings and sidewalks basically vanish in the background. You can also find the horizon line very easily in this photo, which is another reason why I picked this one. It is the horizontal line where the street ends and meets the sky, but in this case, it's where the horizontal line touches the furthest building in the center of the photograph. So whatever reference you choose to use, try and find these particular lines, your horizon and vanishing points. Okay guys, so now I just want you to practice. So you'll see that I'm just kinda outlining all the things in the photograph kind of getting a feel for the lines and the parallel uh, patterns that I see. You'll see in the sidewalk, it comes to a vanishing point as well. But basically, I just want you guys to practice this so you get a good feel on the rules, basically. The general idea of when you're drawing backgrounds or any type of landscape piece, that these are things that you want to keep in mind, you know, when you draw something farther away, it's going to be smaller than something that's in the foreground. Foreground being the closest thing to you in the painting. So just keep, keep this in mind. Give it a good practice. You can try doing this freehand if you'd like after you start to kind of get the idea. And again, this is just for practice. This isn't by any means going to be published anywhere or I don't upload it on any of my art pages. I just wanted to kind of give you guys the idea of how you can practice this at home or anywhere for that matter if you have a little notebook. Uh, you don't have to have a ruler, but I like to uh, have a straight edge when you're trying to get a better line because it does make a difference in the piece because if your sidewalk is all wonky, it's not gonna look right. Um, but you want to keep these elements in mind when you're painting anything, really. If you're not sure on something, or this didn't really clarify what you wanted to learn, or if you're just you've been practicing at it and you're just really struggling, just leave me a comment and I'll get to answer you as best as I can. Um, don't give up, guys. It takes time and effort and patience and practice. So know that you can do it. Art is for everyone. There's a misconception that it's all talent-based, which, yeah, talent does help, but ultimately, we all kind of had to figure this out somehow. I just didn't wake up one day and was like, man, I'm going to be an artist. I'm going to paint something awesome, and it's going to be great. No, I've had failures, too. I've had plenty, and you know what? I needed that to learn, so... Even if it doesn't come out right the first time, or you're just like, man, I don't really like the way this looks, just keep trying. You can even ask your friends and family, be like, hey, what what do I need to work on in this very moment? Like, what looks weird about this to you? You can even ask me in the comments. Uh, just reach out. The art community is great about answering questions uh, when you have questions about what you need well, what could possibly be wrong? There's definitely tons of groups out there. But keep practicing, guys. You can do it. Until next time.